Hello everyone. On this lesson we are going to see an exam question. And this is define the matrix of the linear transformation. X, Y point is 2, 2X plus 3Y for X coordinates and the X minus 4Y for all the Y coordinates with respect to the standard basis for both the domain and the condomain. In this case, to find the matrix of T with respect to the standard basis in domain and codomain, we make a matrix A and we have the transformation on the screen. Every point on the original graph x, y is transformed into this point. For x coordinates, we use the 2x plus 3y, so every x coordinate goes into this position, 2x plus 3y, and every y coordinate of the original graph it goes into this position, x minus 4y. Now the transformation that does this, the matrix of transformation that does this transformation is the matrix A of 2, 1 is the first column. How do I found the first column of the matrix? Is because I have the values here. Okay, so it's for the x is 2 and 1. Or you may write it, for example, 2, 3 horizontally. And also you may write it also 1 minus 4, the other second line. Now let's see how I found the numbers 2, 3. The 2, 3 are the values of x and y on the x coordinates. So it's 2 for x and 3 for the y. And the 1 minus 4 are the values of the well, x and the y coordinates of the y coordinates. So it's 1 minus 4. Or you may check other ways to use the columns for x. Okay, so you may use the column for x and the column for y and take the values from the transformation. You see it's 3 minus 1 for y and 2, 1 for x. Or you may do it the other way, depending how you are want to present the matrix. Okay, so if I want the first column is for the x and the second column is for the y. You see 2, 1 and 3, minus 4. And this is the matrix transformation of T with respect to the standard basis domain and condomain. And let's see how we do the number B here. The basis, the basis 3, 1 and 1 minus 1 for the domain and the standard, day, standard basis for the condomain. So we have to have a basis of 3, 1, 1 minus 1 for the domain. So in this case, we need to take this matrix, which is the A and I need to multiply this matrix and we need to find the transition by the transition matrix. So we need to find the transition matrix. The transition matrix is the P and for the first uh, column here I use the 3, 1. Okay, and the other column is the 1 minus 1. This is for the basis of the domain. And all I need to do is to times the two matrices together to find me the matrix. Okay, so I need to do here the matrix of T with respect to new basis in domain and standard, base, standard basis in the codomain is the AP. So I need to find the AP matrix, which is the 2, 1, 3, minus 4, times the P, which is 3, 1, 1, negative 1, and if you times the two matrices here, this is what you need for the part B. Okay, the part B is find the matrix of the linear transformation, this one that you have on the screen, with respect to the basis 3, 1. You see, I make the horizontal, the first line to be the 3, 1, the first column. And the second column is 1 minus 1, the second column. The first column is for the X, the second column is for the Y. Okay, the same I did for the A, but the A is the standard basis. So it, you go and take the A matrix times by the P, P is the transition matrix, and you find and you answer the part B. And you find the matrix of the linear transformations 
with respect to the base is 3, 1, 1, minus 1. So all I need to do now is to times the two matrices using the method of multiplication of matrices, and you do, go a line with a column. Okay, so to times matrices, you go with a, li a line and a column, and this gives you, for example, 2 times 3 plus 3 times 1 give you the number here. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9. So the number you have 9 here. Then for the other number here, you do 2 times 1 is 2, minus 3 is negative 1. And the other row is 1 times 3, 3 minus 4 is negative 1. And 1 times 1 plus minus 4 times negative 1 give you the 5. And then we answer the part B okay, of this question. And let me repeat the part B because this is not easy question. First of all, you need to find the transition matrix that with the basis 3, 1, 1, minus 1 for the domain. And you see the P, I make this to be the first column is for the X and the second column is for the Y. So 3, 1, I put it the numbers in the first column because for the X here, the first the first coordinate is for the x, and the second coordinate is for the y. So 1 minus 1. And once I find the transition matrix, I times these two matrices together, and then I found the matrix of the linear transformation with respect to this basis for the domain and the standard basis for the codomain. So if you have a question, you may ask me, and then I go subscribe to see more lessons like this one. Thank you.